Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? It's fine. I'm very happy. It's a new class. Oh, great. Great. Yes. I'm happy that you are happy. Yeah, I'm happy that you are very glad. Uh, yes, this is our last class but one. Okay, this is our last class but one. So it means the penultimate, right? Because tomorrow will be number 20, right? And today is number 19. So we are almost at the end, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we are going to start today by talking about um, the last class. Do you remember what we started last class? Do you remember? What was the topic? I don't know, remember. Uh, okay, okay, well. Marta Alicia, hello, welcome. Hi, Ronaldo. Hi, Isabel. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Okay, Hello, welcome. Sir. Welcome, everybody. Now, tell me, guys, what was the last topic about? Uh -huh, el último tema, the last topic. Do you remember the tongue twister? Presente continuo. Y no, 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 no. It was, uh huh. We learned one structure. It was a grammar structure. Uh -huh. Can you remember? We learned how to use. Hmm? The use I'm sorry, again? Affirmativo, negativo, son of the world, gold knob, gold light. Exactly, exactly. Do you remember the tongue twister? ¿Sí ¿Se acuerdan del trabalengua? Do you remember the tongue twister? This little guy. This is a guy, an interesting guy, right? Very cute. Guy. Uh -huh. So this one was for the pronunciation. Do you remember the pronunciation? <laughs> <laughs> Just reading each word. How much would, would a wood chuck chuck? If a wood chuck could chuck wood, right? Remember? How much would wood and um, wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? Ajá, uh -huh. Marta Alicia, continue, continue, Marta Alicia. He will chuck, he will as much as he could and chuck a much wood as a wood chuck wood if a wood chuck wood chuck wood. Yes, very good, very good. Just remember the pronunciation of these two words, guys. These two words are kind of... Difficult for us because we want to read it as we see it. But no, we have to be careful with the pronunciation. Uh, you, and that's most mostly because of when someone is talking to you and you have to, and you need to understand what they are saying. Maybe sometimes you won't understand if you are used to say the wood, right? I have to say wood. Like 
without the letter, without the letter A, right? So now I will show you like this. So you have this wood, right? And you have to pronounce this just like this, wood, right? And the other one was could, and you have to pronounce this like could, right? Could, right? Would and could, would and could. This is what we learned about the pronunciation. Uh -huh. Please, everybody open your microphones and let's say these two words. Would, could, would, could, All right? So it will be like this. And this is like, if we say could, right? Would, could, would, could, would, could. Got it? Okay, but tonight we are not going to study that because now we know how to use would, we know how to use could because we use could for the polite requests, right? These and these are used for polite requests, offerings, re, um, polite offerings, polite language, okay? So we use would, like, would like to. Remember would like to? Mm -hmm. I would like to eat mm, grilled meat, okay? So I would like to eat grilled meat. Or I would like to report a problem, okay? I would like you to come soon to fix this, okay? So this is the way to use would like, remember? I would like to eat grilled meat, for example. This is when we are asking for something in a restaurant, for example, or maybe you are talking to your wife, maybe you are talking to your husband. What would you like to eat, right? So we are offering in a question. We offer in a question. So what would you like to eat? Right? What would you like to report? Okay, what would you like to report? Mm -hmm. Who to who would you? like to come soon, okay? Who would you like to come soon? There we go. So this is the way to offer something. What would you like to eat? I would like to eat bread meat, for example, okay? What would you like to report? I would like to report a problem. Who would you like to come soon? I would like you to come soon to fix this, right? Mm -hmm. We could ask, for example, would you like me to come soon to fix this, right? This is what we started. This is what we started. Now, about food, okay? This was about wood. <laughs> Hi, hello, teacher. hello. Okay. This means I want. Remember? Let me say politely. Okay, this is the polite way to say I want, remember? Okay, and this is
Okay, could you please close the window, right? Could you please close the window, right? Could you please write the report? Okay, because we are asking for someone to do something, right? Could you please uh, get me a cup of coffee? Okay, very polite language. This is a very polite way to request for something or for someone to do something for you. Okay, this is when we use could. This is a manner of um this is a manner of a uh, feedback. Okay, this is a manner of feedback. Okay, could you please tell me what I am doing wrong? Remember, could you please tell me what I am doing wrong? Could you please come soon and fix the problem? Okay, could you please come and come soon and fix the problem? So these are polite requests. Now, offerings. Could I get you something? Okay, could I get you something? Could I, could I give you some advice? Okay, could I ask you some questions? Okay, could I uh, take a message? All right, these are offerings. I am offering politely to do something for someone else, okay? Entonces, vemos acá, tenemos, would like to, que en una manera educada vamos a decir yo quiero, ¿sí? Podemos usarlo como una... Eh, un ofrecimiento y también podemos usarlo como un request. Un request sería, I would like to eat real meat. Estoy pidiendo porque yo quiero, ¿sí? Yo quiero comer carne asada, ¿verdad? Vale, vamos a ver. Eh, I would like to report a problem. Yo quiero reportar un problema, pero estoy diciendo de manera amable, ¿ok? I would like you to come soon to fix this. Yo quiero que usted venga rápido para que me arregle esto, ¿sí? Ahora, veamos los ofrecimientos. The offerings son questions, son preguntas. What would you like to eat? What would you like to report? Who would you like to come soon? Would you like me to come soon to fix this? Ok. Estas ya son offerings, ¿ok? Offerings. Usted está ofreciéndole a alguien, por ejemplo, usted le va a dar a alguien de comer, le pregunta qué quiere de comer, ¿sí? Le dice, what would you like to eat? ¿Qué quisieras comer? Right? What would you like to report? Ajá, dígame, ¿qué es lo que quieres reportar? Uh, who would you like um, to come soon? Soon. ¿Y quién quiere usted que vaya pronto? ¿Sí? Uh, would you like me to come soon to fix this? ¿Usted quisiera que yo vaya y le solucione esto pronto? ¿Sí? Entonces, vemos que would like to es para offerings, en una polite way to say I want, ¿ok? Pero también es para, eh, perdón, para requests, diciendo I want, y para offerings, diciéndole si tú quisieras o otra persona quisiera, ¿sí? Tenemos el otro auxiliar. Estos son modal Verbs, ok, modal verbs, lo voy a poner por acá, de alguna manera lo vamos a poner, ¿sí? Modal verbs. Ok, 
okay? Modal verbs would and could. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que hemos visto hasta este momento. Y hemos dicho que could sirve para, de una manera muy formal, ¿ok? Polite, y le vamos a poner aquí para que lo recuerden. And formal, ¿ok? Muy formales. Solicitudes que usted haga o ofrecimientos también, ¿sí? Cada uno tiene su momento, cada uno tiene su lugar, por eso hay que verlos en el contexto. Ahorita estoy viendo la estructura, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, could you please close the window? ¿Eh? Could you Ah, son. Ok. Puedo preguntar, could you please write the report? Podrías escribir tú el reporte. Could you please get me a cup of coffee? Me podría traer una tacita de café, por favor. Yeah. Uh, could you please tell me what I am doing wrong? Me podría decir qué es lo que yo estoy haciendo mal. Okay. Could you please come soon and fix the problem? Mire, podría venir rápido y arreglar esto, este problema. Okay. Vamos a ver, cuando ofrecemos nosotros nuestra ayuda de una manera muy formal, muy polite, ¿verdad? Que no parezcamos entrometidos, ¿verdad? En las situaciones. Vamos a usar could. ¿Cree que give something? ¿Le podría ofrecer algo? ¿Sí? ¿Cree que give you some advice? ¿Le podría dar un consejo? ¿Me permite darle un consejo? ¿Sí? ¿Cree que give you some advice? Uh, could I ask you some questions? Le podría hacer unas preguntas. ¿Sí? Could I take a message? Eh, quisiera que yo le tome un mensaje. Digamos que la persona no está en, en, eh, cuando la están llamando, por ejemplo. Y el mejor lugar donde vamos a usar estas frases es on the phone, okay? en el teléfono. Acordémonos que cuando hablamos en el teléfono no, no sabemos quién es, no lo conocemos en persona, pero el el teléfono, la vía telefónica requiere un lenguaje muy educado. ¿sí? Independientemente, sea quien sea, le vamos a hablar de manera educada. Ok, entonces recordemos, vamos a ver por acá. Imaginémonos que una pieza de nuestro equipo, de cualquier equipo que tengamos nosotros disponible en nuestra oficina, se arruinó. Ok, entonces pensemos cómo haríamos ese request usando would like to, would like to. Veamos, aquí tengo dos ejemplos. The accounting department would like to report a problem with a multipurpose machine. Multipurpose es como aquellas máquinas grandes que tienen el impresor, la fotocopiadora, que tienen eh, escáner, tienen todo junto, ¿verdad? That's a multipurpose machine. Okay, so the accounting department would like to report a problem with a multipurpose machine. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Number two, I'd like to report a problem with the printer. It doesn't print anything. It doesn't print anything. Okay, let's think about a number three. Okay, who wants to give me an example? How would you request for they to come and fix the problem? Or what problem would you request to be fixed? Mm -hmm. In this structure, look at the structure. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, for example, <clears throat> the bus business uh, business department uh, would like to report a problem with the, uh, <laughs> I don't remember, say, aire acondicionado, for example. 
With the AC, air conditioner. With the AC. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. With yes. the AC. All right. That's good. That's good. Even though this is not equipment, right? It's an appliance, right? It's something that we need that uh, work properly, right? That work properly. All right. But talking about technical issues with, for example, the internet, the router, the mouse, your equipment, your computer, I don't know, whatever you use, but it is technical and you need the IT department working on that, on that. okay? Okay, teacher. For example, in my, my work, mm -hmm. the unit that support is, mm -hmm. for example, the... Uh, Sorry, teacher, I speak Spanish. Tenemos, no problem, go ahead. Tenemos una unidad que también se le reporta vía llamada telefónica cuando hay escenarios de electricidad. Okay, we have a unit. Okay, we have a special unit. We have a special unit. Uh -huh. That receives the reports. Receives the report in difference. Uh -huh. uh, problems. <laughs> okay, problems. Uh -huh. like problems. maintenance problems. Sorry, teacher. Maintenance problems or like the, this is help desk. Um, main, uh, maintenance, teacher. Maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay, for example, what problems do you report to that unit? Uh, for example, the business department would like to report a problem with the CRM is the your core system. <laughs> okay. So the business are you sure is business the the area? Yes, the sure. business. Okay. I work to two area because the principal is business department. Okay, so the business department would like to report a problem with the CRM, right? Yes, to sure. Okay, CRM is like a core legacy, what? It's your legacy systems for the process and the difference. Okay, it's like the platform you use. The platform, yes, to sure. Uh, all right, all right, there you go. Okay, people. It's so. the different, for example, is the different report and for the uh, for the ticket or calling or or email. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. Is okay, is there any other um, of you who wants to to share? How would you report a problem? Using would like to. Um, uh, like to report problem with the it is like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These are really excellent examples. Thank you, Saul. Thank you. You gave us very important examples. How to guide, right? Sure. How to guide. Thank you. So um, we are going to continue. We're going to continue because the topic for today, the topic for today is the use of kin. Okay. How to use kin for the polite but informal requests, okay? These are informal requests. It doesn't mean that they are totally impolite, right? They are polite, but they are informal. You can use this modal verb in the present tense, can, right, to ask, for a favor, to ask for the same situations you have using could, but 
with different people or with different contexts, okay? For example, you are talking to a customer, you are talking to a customer and you are offering for something and, or the customer is asking for something to you, then you can use can, but your side would use could, right? For example, the customer can ask you using can, right? But you, maybe you will uh, try to maintain or to keep the conversation in a very polite manner. But we, you will use could, right? So today we are going to see how to use can for informal requests. Remember, this is your class number 19. And the unit is IT, or, or in other words, it's tech support. Tech support. And we are learning how to report problems uh, with technical issues or technical devices to the IT department, okay? This is the way that we are learning to use these model verbs. This is the context we are at. Uh, we are at. So the, uh, the objective is that we need to learn how to make statements using can for the informal request. For example, if I talk to my classmate, if I talk to my coworker, if I talk to a friend, I talk to a member of my family, maybe I'm going to use can. Maybe to my mom, I will use could and would. Maybe if I refer to my dad, I will use would, right? With more respect or it depends on your uh, relationship, the level of your re re relationship, that the, uh, the, how close you are with this person. That's just a clue because that's not um, an unbrokeable uh, rule. We, we can break that rule too. So let's learn how to use that. And to start, we are going to use a tongue twister just to blah, 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 blah. Okay, to untwist our tones to pronounce can. Okay, because remember that can and it's natural and your closest meaning is poder. So, like the ability. But in this case, we are not seeing the ability of doing something. We are using this model verb as a helping verb to give the meaning of politeness, okay? To seem kind. And we want to learn how to fill a complaint form. And also we want to use code and mostly can for informal requests because could and can are going together. Usually in the conversation via phone, you have both going and coming, both, both, right? Both going and coming. So we want to learn how to structure these questions. Then we have a conversation. And in the breakout rooms, we are going to learn um, about how to file a complaint in a conversation, okay? So let's start by this. Yeah, how do you feel? Uh, are you like to say a tongue twister? Uh-huh, glad to see you guys, look. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Corner, can 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 Okay, let's see the pronunciation because we yeah. have can and we have can, okay? Can, it's this thing, right? A bottle made of metal. Uh, originally, it was made of metal, but you can use glass, you can use anything to envasar, okay? Can, in realidad, sería envasar o envasado. So, Decimos enlatado because that was the beginning or the origin, right, of these objects. So we say, can you can a can as a canner can 
Kan, a, kan. You see, the pronunciation is important here. Because if you don't give the right pronunciation, you don't give the right meaning, okay? So please, everybody, you want to listen to it? Do you want to listen to it? ¿Lo quieren escuchar primero? ¿O le damos yes, ya el solo? Play. <laughs> okay, no problem, it's okay, let's do it. Hmm? Can you can a can as a can or can can a Sorry. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? All right. Easy, right? Easy. Do I play it again? Do I play it again? Please, teacher. Okay. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Okay, open your microphones. And if I, as if it were the central market, please do it. Okay, everybody. Can you can you can a can, a can a as a can as or can, 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 can a can? Again, again, again. Can you can a can or can a can? Faster, faster. Can you can you are a can or can Faster, faster. Can you can a can as a can or can Again, again, faster, faster. Can you can a can as a can Okay, now remember intonation here. Remember intonation, pronunciation. Can you can, can you can a can as a can or can can a can, okay? So remember pronunciation. Can you can, can, as a can or can, can, can? Okay, remember, raising intonation because it's a direct question. Can, right? We don't have WH word here. So everybody, let's do it. Can you can, a can, as a can, or can, can, can? Can you can, a can, as a can, or can, 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 can? Very good, guys. Yes, there you go. Who wants to go by yourself alone? A ver. No sé cuando andan ustedes. No, cuando digo que solitos ahí todos apagando la, la video. No, hey, come on. Go, go, Saul. Go, go. Can you can a can as a corner can can a can? Great. And uh, now three times, three times faster, right? Three times. Go ahead, Saul. Three times. Uh, Faster. Okay. Can you can a can as a corner can can a can? Three can times. You, can you can a can as a corner can can a can? Can you can a can as a corner can can a can? Yeah, Saul, you did it. You did it. Stephanie, yeah, I know you want. I know you want, Stephanie. Come on. Can you can a can as a can or a can a can? Well, good. Now, three times. Can you can a can as a can or can can a can? Can you can a can as a can or can a can a can? Okay, more or less. Go ahead. Third time, third time. Uh-huh. Okay, three times in a row. Uh-huh. Solo le falta una vez. Vamos. Okay. Can you a can a can a can a can a can a can? More or less, more or less. Good, good, Stephanie. But cuidemos la pronunciación. ¿Cuál es quién y cuál es can? Okay. Veremos quién es el verbo poder, sí. Y can es la lata, sí, o el envase. A ver, vamos a ver al mayo. I know you want. I know you want al mayo. Yeah. Okay. okay, Alma, three times in a row. Okay. 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 
Can you can a can as a canner can a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? La última, la última. A ver, haga la última, la última, otra vez. Can you can a can as a canner can can a can? Ok, este es quién? Este se le fue como can dos veces, pero las primeras dos veces las hizo muy bien. Las hizo muy bien, Alba. Ajá. Aquí es quién. Ok, quién. Este es poder, este es poder. Ya en las demás no hay poder. <ríe> ok. Vaya, vamos a ver. Who goes next? Fernando Noel. I know you want. I know you want. Can you can? Can you can? Can you can a can? A can a can? can? Can a can? can Three times. Can a can can? you can a can a can a can can a can? Okay, this is can you can. Can you can, pero sí se oye como quien así por, por la forma de ir rápido, ¿verdad? Por eso se oye como quien, pero está bien, Fernando. Por ahí vamos, vamos, vamos. Um, a ver, eh, Débora, are you ready? Yes, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, can you can a can a can a can a can? Okay, can 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 a can? can. Va, pero lo tiene que decir tres veces así seguiditas, ¿verdad? Y más, lo más rápido que pueda. Vamos, three times in a row and very fast. Go ahead. Can, can you can a can a can? Can you can a can of a can? Este que no se escaña, es como, es el que dice que se pronuncia can. Scanner. Este es scanner y este es can, can. Este es can, este es can y este es can y can. Solo hay dos can, oh. mire. Can, can. Okay, Debra, okay. Continue practicing. All right, go ahead. Now, let's listen to Marta Alicia. Are you ready, Marta Alicia? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Can you can can you can 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 three times in a row tres veces y cada vez más rápido solo le escuchamos dos no sé si fue por la conexión okay that was very good. That was very good. Thank you, Marta Alicia. Samuel, there you go. Your turn. Okay. Can you can a can has can or can can a can? Can you can a can has can or can can a can? Can you can a can has a can or can can a can? Okay, lo reto un poquito más rápido. A ver si puede. Vamos. Can you can a can has can or can can a can? Faster, faster. Can you can a can has can or can can a can? Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> <clears throat> can you can a can has can or can can a can? All right, very good, Samuel. You did it. Great, great, great. So look at you, me decía has, ¿verdad? but it's as, okay, as. All right, people, very good. Did you enjoy this, uh, this tongue twister? Did you enjoy this tongue twister? Yeah, was it good? ¿Y les gustó este tongue twister? Yes. Okay, la idea de este tongue twister es que veamos que hay diferentes palabras que pueden significar diferente, una sola, una, una sola escritura que puede 
significar diferentes cosas. ¿Ok? Entonces, cuando usted dice, lo voy a traducir, ahí ya va un problema, ¿verdad? Porque usted me dice, teacher, ¿y qué significa can? Ah, ¿En dónde lo leyó? ¿Cómo está escrito? Eh, dígame la oración, <ríe> porque cada palabra pues tiene un significado distinto. El modal verb, el, el verbo modal que estamos viendo en afirmativo se pronuncia usualmente quién, ¿ok? Quién. Can you? Can I? Can he? Can she? Can they? Can we? All right. Can we? Can they? Can she? Can he? It doesn't matter. The pronoun, the modal verb isn't going to change. Okay. It's going to keep the same you don't have to add letter s to the verb they uh, go with you don't have to add ing you don't have to add to as the infinitive no just the base form of the verb with these modal verbs for example can you can this can will be as a verb Aquí es un verbo, can, ¿sí? Envasar, ¿sí? Puedes tú envasar, ¿el qué? Una lata o un envase, ¿verdad? Ah, can. Ah, entonces aquí lo vimos como un verbo principal que no es el verbo poder, es el verbo envasar. Y acá, a can, que es una lata o un envase, ¿sí? Bye. Veamos otros, otros ejemplos en donde podría, podríamos ver esos requests. Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros queremos llenar una forma, eh, cuando nos llaman por teléfono y me dicen, uh, mira, yo quiero reportar un problema. I would like to report a problem. All right, just allow me to fill out the, the complaint form, right? So I will file a complaint. All right, go ahead. So what is the first thing I have to ask? to this person over the phone. I will ask the name, right? Who is calling? So what am I going to ask? Can you, could you, all right? And we use please. Could you please tell me your name? Could you please give me your name? Can I have your name, please? So these are the requests we need to formulate, okay? These are the requests we need to formulate, okay? So actually, we are not going to ask the date, the current date. Maybe we are going to ask the date that the problem started, okay? Maybe this is the form date, but here you will write the date the problem started, okay? Uh, how long this problem has taken, okay? Now, then... Home phone number. How do you ask this question to anyone? A ver, ¿cómo haríamos la pregunta para pedirle el número de contacto o de su casa? En este caso. Una pregunta. Vamos a ver. Podemos usar quién y podemos usar could. Cualquiera de los dos y lo voy a poner acá así, miren. Quién o could. ¿Sí? Dependiendo de cómo es el tipo de conversación que usted debe mantener con, en su negocio, en su compañía, cómo le ha pedido su, eh, cuáles son sus lineamientos para tratar al cliente. Usualmente vamos a usar could, usualmente, ¿sí? Pero podemos usar can, right Podemos usar can. Entonces, uh, could I have your... Home phone number, please. Please, lo puedo poner acá, al final. Okay. O lo puedo poner aquí. Could I please? Okay. Could I please have your phone number? Okay. Cualquiera de los dos lugares estaría bien, ¿sí? Lo puede poner después del sujeto o lo puede poner al final. 
Vaya, vamos a ver. Digamos que le tenemos que preguntar el número de teléfono. ¿Cómo se lo preguntamos? I have a question. This. Dame. What is the difference? For example, I remember that is usually is called you get me. For example, is called I have your phone. Yeah, could you get me is if you don't have it. For example, mm -hmm. if I tell you, um, what is your phone number, right? Then you mm -hmm. tell me, well, actually, I don't know what my phone number is, the office phone number is. I have a direct number mm -hmm. or I have a personal number. But yo le pregunto, could mm -hmm. you get me that phone number, please? Mm -hmm. I see. Vaya y mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. También puedo preguntarle, could I get? O puedo preguntarle, could I get? Y no habría problema. Pero lo mejor así, could I have or can I have? Ok. okay uh -huh. También puede ser que yo le pida de la otra manera. Could you please give me your phone number? Bueno, ahora pongámosle work para ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Work phone number. Ok. Could you please give me your work phone number? All right. Hmm. También veamos el que sigue, fax number. ¿Qué le preguntaríamos, sí? ¿Qué le preguntaríamos aquí? Para decirle, mire, ¿y cuál es el número del fax? Tiene fax. ¿Cuál es el número del fax? Could I have your fax number, please? Uh -huh. Very good. Now, uh, what about the address? The street address. Could I have your street address, please? Oh, very good. Okay. How do I how do I ask um, for the email address? Could I have your email address, please? Okay. Bye. Y para no parecer tan monótono, ¿verdad? Para no parecer tan monótono y pidiéndole lo mismo con la misma pregunta, podemos ir a hacer, haciendo preguntas diferentes con otros verbos. Por ejemplo, así como decía Saúl con get, ¿a él le suena bien get? Bueno, Podríamos probarlo. Vamos a ver también con, eh, could you please tell me, ok? Tell me, puede ser otro. ¿Qué otra cosa podría ser? Uh -huh. Dijimos give me en las, en las preguntas y dijimos ha, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Could you please tell me? Could you please give me? Can I have? Uh -huh. Probemos el de Saúl. ¿Con quién? Bye. Can I get your contact phone number? Okay. Can I get your contact phone number? All right. Claro que sí. Funciona bien. Pero el otro escenario también, eh, como lo expliqué, porque así lo entendí al principio, ok, está bien. Vamos a ver la siguiente. Otro verbo que se les venga a la mente. Imagínense que esos datos ya lo tenemos no, en la computadora. Teacher. Ok, very good, no. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, imagínense que estos datos ya están en la computadora y me aparecen ya por default ¿cuál sería la situación? 
to confirm. Okay. Can you confirm? Okay. Can you confirm? All right. Can you confirm your email address? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y luego, pues, le tenemos que hacer la pregunta básica. To describe the nature, the nature of the complaint, tenemos que identificar el equipo en, en, en que tiene el problema y cuál es el problema, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo preguntamos eso? Ya la vimos por allá, podríamos hacerlo acá con could o con quién, ¿verdad? Pero ahí es a decisión y dependiendo del contexto, ¿sí? Uh, could or can. Uh -huh. Could you? Y la otra es, can you describe the problem? Okay, can you describe the problem? Uh, could you tell me? Can you what? explain, teacher? Mm -hmm. What equ equipment? What equipment and the problem is? And the problem with it? And the problem with it? All right. Uh -huh. Could you explain? The issue, okay. Could you explain the issue? Eso es para llenar qué parte? Esta que está acá, la grande, ¿verdad? Donde vamos a poner eh, lo que necesitamos saber del eh, cuál es el verdadero problema, ¿ok? Y ya luego, pues, le decimos desde cuándo y hacemos otras preguntas, así como decía en la primera conversación, eh, ya se me olvidó el nombre, ¿cómo se llamaba? Mark. Eh, Robert. Mm, no me acuerdo. Robert or someone. Decía, eh, let me ask you some questions. Okay. Let me ask you some questions. Y usted hace preguntas. Y ahora usted ya sabe hacer preguntas con WH. Usted sabe hacer preguntas con do con das. Usted puede hacer preguntas con would like to. Sabe hacer preguntas con could, con can. Okay. Sabe hacer preguntas con eh, a ver, eh, para obligación y necesidad. ¿sí? The have to and need to. Que son con do y con das, ¿verdad? Pero les pongo ahí para que recuerden. ¿no? También saben usar las urgency um, expressions. Ok. Coma, etc. Yeah. Etc. All right. This is how to fill out a form that you are the responsible to filling it. But what, what happens if you just need to send the form and the person has to complete the form? You would just have to confirm, all right? And use the verb confirm. Use the verb tell me, uh, can I have, can I do this, can I do that? But just in order to confirm the information that they filled out in the form, okay? This is a complaint. Complaint, ¿le suena mucho a algo? Um, lo vamos a explicar, a ver. Complaint, tal vez le suena a ustedes a una palabra que yo uso mucho, el complement, no tiene nada que ver uno con el otro, okay? Complaint. Uh -huh. En este caso se podría traducir como, como queja, reporte, eh, Reclamo, sí, claim es reclamo, claim. Eh, pero complain es como la queja porque usted está reportando el problema. Muchas veces no es solo una queja, ¿verdad? Porque queja se, se oye como muy eh, eh, de, de, de reclamo. Pero complain también significa eso, significa... Eh, eh, reportar lo que está malo y buscar la solución, ¿sí? Complain, complain. 
Y tenemos otra que también es complain. Ok, complain. Ok, esta es queja, ¿sí? I'm sorry, just give me one second because, querita, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just one second, please. All right, I apologize, guys. Sure. So sorry. Tell me. Uh, for example, in the Spanish language, it is MN used as compliant, compliant to report problems or issues. I know because I work with college from uh, Argentina in English. How do you say Argentina? It? Argentina. Argentina, they mm -hmm. use compliant. For for ask for 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 talk to the problem or issues. Oh, okay. Ellos dicen queja. Mm -hmm. <ríe> dicen Saúl, puedes quejarte sobre este inconveniente, o sea, reportarlo, verdad? Exactly, exactly. No, I was just looking for the letter T, okay? Because complaint will be like, complaint. yeah, it's a part of the conjugation of this verb, mm -hmm. right? Like the name of this form, like. Uh, Queja, right? But the complain, complain without the letter T is the verb. How to complain, right? Complain and complaint. Complaint. Mm -hmm. Complaint. Complaint and complain. Complaint. Mm -hmm. complaint and complain. Verb, noun. All right, verb and noun. This is what, what, what I was trying to confirm. And we have complain as a verb, and then we have complaint as a noun, all right? Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. All right. So this is the difference between both because you're going to find both. So you're going to have this question <laughs> on the way. All right, people. Is there any questions so far about the complaint form? How do you how do you call? I mean, what do you call the person who complains? Um. <clears throat> How do you say teacher? Um, teacher. Uh -huh, Deborah? Uh, yo quisiera saber cuál es la diferencia entre complaint y complaint. Complaint uh -huh. is the <laughs> name or the noun of the name of this form. All right. Complaint. Queja. Complain, quejarse, or the action of complaining, right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. No, complain. queja. queja. Uh -huh. So I will do this. You see, complained, noun. I will write it like here, noun. And complain is the verb or the action. <laughs> this is to complain and this is a complain all right 
Got it? I just wanted to give the difference between both. Okay. Que en español sería como queja y quejarse, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Creyar. Creya y creyar. <laughs> well, actually, I, I really, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just joking, but yes, it is one of the meanings. It is one of the meanings. Okay, people. So we are going to continue and let's see. Uh, let me show you the, uh, the verbs we started the, the last class for you to see the verbs you are going to use in this complaint. All right. In this complaint. You are going to use verbs like this. So I will clear all this. May I delete this? May I erase the board? Okay, teacher. It's okay. All right. All right. So we have the verbs like this. Ah, we've got it right there. For example, Possible actions to solve common problems at the workplace. For example, you can repair something. You can check something, fix something, replace something, renew anything, reinstall, okay? Reprogram, reset, update, configure, and reboot. You can have others like this ones, like, <clears throat> <clears throat> the configure, restart, reset, okay? And we are going to use the structure using could for formal requests and can for informal requests. Informal because of the person you are talking to, okay? Because of the person who you are talking to. For example, if there's my coworker, okay, I can use can. And it's not a problem. But if I'm talking to my boss, all right, then I'm going to use good. Yeah, I will use good. Could I, mm, let's say, could I reinstall the program? Okay, could I reinstall the app, the application, for example? Could I re reinstall the um, drivers? Okay, so we are going to use the proper verb to define what the problem is and what the solution we are looking for is, okay? Maybe you have a solution in mind and that's what you are asking for. Or maybe you just have the problem, so you have to identify the problem, right? We identify the problem, remember, like the problems we saw at the beginning of this unit and we say, the computer doesn't turn on. I really don't know what happened, but it doesn't turn on. Okay, the first thing maybe that you're going to say uh, is it, ah, so questions. We need questions to find out a solution, okay? We identify and describe the problem for the IT agent can figure what the problem is and figure out a solution. Okay, then, for example, I have no access to internet, all right? My password, uh, my password expired. Mm. Printer doesn't print. Mm. Okay. Then the questions from IT that you may receive. When doesn't it turn on? When doesn't it turn on? ¿Cuándo es que no enciende? ¿Le enciende o no le enciende? Okay. Son cosas que le van a preguntar. Eh, pero ahorita la tiene encendida. Do you have it on right now? Okay. Uh, por ejemplo, le pueden preguntar, eh, when did you turn it off? Okay, when did you turn it off? Ah, okay. O le pueden preguntar, por ejemplo, mm, when do you turn off the computer? When do you turn off the computer? Do you turn off the computer um, for lunch time? Yeah, we don't know. So they are going to ask you questions. Uh, for example, what model is it? What model is it? Does it pop up an error message? Normalmente, no sé si se han fijado que los de IT le dicen, mire, y le tira algún mensaje, anote el, el, el error, hágale screenshot y lo envía, ¿sí? Normalmente, ¿verdad? 
para tener más certeza para poder darle una solución exacta, ¿ok? Y si no, pues le van a decir, mire, va a ser troubleshooting porque yo creo que usted mejor va a seguir los pasos leyendo. No, tampoco. Pero, does it pop on error, an error message? Does it pop up an error message? Pop up es como eh, sale es de repente. Emergente. Exacto. Uh -huh. Emergente, good. Uh -huh. Emergente, pop up, como el popcorn, ¿verdad? Que pop up. <risa> sí. O sea que los popcorn, Saúl, son emergentes. <risa> <risa> Son palomitas oh, oh, emergentes. Oh, yeah. <risa> Ajá. Emergency, emergency to watch a movie. <risa> Ajá, Alba. The pop-up popcorn. Ok, is it properly plugged in? A veces la solución más elemental, ¿verdad? Puede ser el problema. ¿Cuál? Mire, y ya se fijó si está conectado el toma corriente. Este. ¿Verdad? Is it properly plugged in? Está conectado correctamente. Lo ha puesto en el cor en el uh, en el port que en el properly port, ¿verdad? En el puerto que corresponde, sí. Puede ser que lo esté conectando en otro puerto y por eso no funciona, o puede ser que no lo haya conectado a la electricidad, ¿verdad? Is it properly plugged in? Okay. Vamos a ver entonces nuevamente los formal and informal requests. For example, can we talk later? Estaba de hablarle y hablarle a su compañero, ¿verdad? Y usted necesita trabajar algo y está trabajando en algo. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. Y su compañero hablando. Así, can, can, can we talk later? Uh, allow me just to finish this, right? Can we talk later? Then can I speak to the supervisor? Ah, este es un request de un cliente. Usualmente el cliente le va a pedir escalar. Entonces, escalar sería, can I speak to the supervisor? You have no the authority to do this. So, can I speak to the supervisor, please? Usually the anchor customers, I like that. Okay? It's the, it's the everyday uh, request for me, teacher. Oh, so <laughs> sorry to hear that. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, I am the supervisor on duty. How can I help you? How can I assist you? And they say, are you the supervisor? You don't sound the su as a supervisor to me. Okay, that's anger customers, right? <laughs> yeah, anger customers. Okay, if you're the supervisor, yeah. then um, I authorize that I can get maybe the 50% of discount in the next purchase. Oh, my goodness. All right. We'll, we'll see what we can do there. All right, <laughs> whatever you want to solve over there, right? It's it's really important for us to know how to handle the anger customers, but this is not the topic, okay? This is not the topic. The topic is to learn how to formulate the informal requests, okay? Vamos a ver entonces. Stephanie, can you read the first one, please? Can we talk later? Okay, very good. Um, Deborah? Can I speak to the supervisor? Good. Alma? Can you send a confirmation email to my personal account too? Mm -hmm. Next. Saul? Can they read the complaint form to sign it? To sign it? Sign, sign, sign it. No, sign. Sa sign. Sign. Sign, sign it. Mm -hmm. sign. Very good, very Next good. Session. Fernando Noel? Mr. Fernando Noel? Hi, teacher. This one, please read. No, just okay. this one. Just this one. This one. This one. Okay. Can you give me your email address, please? Very good. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, no, let's ask a uh, Mr. Fernando Enrique. Are you available? Okay. This one. Could you check the monitor, please? It's done. Things to work. 
It doesn't. doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Seem. To seem. 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 To work. Okay, thank you. Marta Alicia, please, this one. Could you help me, please? Very good. Carlos Ernesto, this one, please. Sorry, teacher. ¿Qué, qué, qué línea van? This one, this one, this one. Okay. Could you please tell me what I am doing wrong? Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. And the last one, please, Ronaldo, are you available? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, could you please tell me what I need to do next? To do next. To do next. To do next. Yes, thank you. All right, let's teacher, use the... Can you help uh -huh. me, please? Sorry. In yes. In the moment. How do you, how do you pronounce the doing wrong or won't? Won't. Just with the letter R. Just with the letter R. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. 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 Mm -hmm. Wrong. Thanks, teacher. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. No problem. It's okay. So now let's try to practice this conversation and as. Okay. I will call the roll. So please, everybody, read the conversation at the time that I am calling the roll. All right. Are you guys ready? Please remember to turn your camera on and when I call your name, please say present. Alma Yamilet Hernandez de Vasquez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vasquez Espino. Present teacher. Oh, there you are, Carlos. Thank God you're here. I didn't see you before. Okay, welcome. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present teacher. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortez. Present teacher. Fernando Enrique Martinez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher. Gabriela Lisette Hernández Cruz. Helen Saray Hernández Larín. Present teacher. Ok. José Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Okay, Rosa, there you are. Are you as a listener, Rosa, today? Oh, okay. Yeah, you, I think you sent me a message. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez? Present. Okay, Saul Alvarez Pacheco? Present teacher. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Present teacher. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. No, Verónica yet. Okay, there she is. As a listener. Okay, did you read the conversation? You read the conversation, right? Okay, we want to listen to two of you.
Mike and Maria. Okay, Mike and Maria. And look at the prayer work we have right, right below the conversation. This Mario is not Mario, it's Mike. Okay, this Mario is not Mario, it's Mike. Mm -hmm. So remember that, please. Let's read it. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Computer, right? I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, then. And then we have this other conversation, okay? In that one, we were at identifying the problem. Now let's look at this other one, okay? It's about Max and Joey. They are having a problem in that company, okay? Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for peeps.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Um, it's an ulti page Max 30. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the installation CD. It is in this, I'm sorry, is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete, complete install. Okay. We want to go and practice both Conversations, okay, both conversations. Vamos a practicar las dos conversaciones. Tomémonos el tiempo para practicar la primera como identificando el problema. Y lo comprendemos y todo y luego pasamos a la siguiente, ¿sí? Para identificar el problema normalmente hacemos preguntas. Entonces, ahí en el pair work, en el pair work que tenemos ahí, tenemos dos preguntas como para discutirlas un poquito, ¿sí? No nos tome, no es de pensar mucho, es de decir lo que está en la conversación. Entonces, vamos a ir y ver qué es esto, ¿sí? Estas que están acá. Says, get impaired and discuss the following question. What expression does Mike use to show a solution in, pro in progress? What seems to be the problem with the computer? Okay, what seems to be the problem with the computer? Esta la vamos a practicar, vamos a hacer este pair work y vamos a practicar la otra conversación, ¿ok? Ahorita yo les paso los images. Vamos a hacer las tres cosas, jóvenes, por favor. Okay, are you guys ready? Si ¿Sí se comprende lo que vamos a hacer. Yes, teacher. This is the practice uh, paragraph and answer the two questions. 
Okay. Two conversations and two questions. There you go. We save it the new printer. Um, I need help saving I Ips. Could you help my please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Who this an ulti page mixed thirsting? Okay. Please make sure that the power core is plugged in. The plugging in. Uh, all right. This is Paul. You tell me <coughs> what you need to do next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. In three, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Ya creo que sean las preguntas. ¿En qué página la encontró? En la página 47. Ah, pues sí, está un poquito. 47. Si sí, ahí tenemos a la de Max y Joe. Uh -huh. ah, y ahí va. Las preguntas. Uh -huh. ah, si quieres, voy a compartir la pantalla para que la veas. Ah, va, ok. Sí, ahí tiene las, ajá, las preguntas. Ah, y, y acaba de decir que página 5, ¿no? Página 45. 
Sí, porque esta es la 47 y la 45 que es de máxima. Ahí está. Bueno, ¿cuál crees? Bueno, vamos a, empecemos ahí con, voy a agarrar a Maya ahorita y luego turnamos ahí el. Bueno, está bien. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué problema? El problema. El problema es describe the problem. Is the answer to question number one. I think. You mm -hmm. think with me is correct or not? Uh, sure. Can you help me, please? Permitimento. Teacher. Tell me. Let me know what's going on. Uh, I. I don't know is understand the uh, question number one. For example, is what expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? Is for example the identify the problem or is the as uh, as como decir? How do you say uh, dar una solución? Give a solution. Give a solution. Mm -hmm. Is the What's the way to to, to express that you are taking care of the situation? Telling what you do or what is the solution, right? Mm -hmm. So if he says, for example, well, I, I will send you the complaint form, but we can change the, or we can replace the, 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 the equipment in no time. So don't worry. We are taking care of your situation, right? Okay, sure. I I think is please describe the problem. But it's, it's okay. okay <laughs> mm -hmm. Now explain why. Mm, is the for needed the information with is the problem specific. For example, in in this paragraph is the don't don't uh what don't don't come bueno no no se ve exactamente cuál es el problema verdad pero pero es con la computadora es mm -hmm. I But look the model verb he uses. He says we can send a new computer in no time, uh -huh. right? And giving the solution, it's a possibility. According to the complaint you are uh, feeling, filing, right? So for example, if you are filing a complaint and there is no other solution and usually the IT department knows, right? So they say, well, we, we, can, re we can send a new computer in no time. As soon as you fill out the form, right? Sorry, teacher, I confuse. Sería entonces, we can send a new computer. Is that the solution? Yes, because that's the question, right? How, how does he show the willingness to, the, oh, that, the willingness to do something for the person, right? Or that he is taking care of the solution. He is taking care of the problem. The, the mm -hmm. question is, uh, is talk about the solution, uh, uh, the solution C, Mike, for the problem, teacher, or mm -hmm. is, uh, okay, I understand it. Is, yes, teacher, mm -hmm. he's in a new computer. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay, teacher. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But there okay? is another, there is another because he he used to, um, for example, if he apologized, that's the first step to show that you are taking care of the person problem, right? The person's problem. But no, the solution in progress, yeah, it's okay. We can send a new computer in no time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, okay. What seems to the problem with the computer? File a complaint about my water. A very slow. Didn't turn on, teacher. No me enciende. Mm -hmm. Um, it, uh -huh, it's, it was very slow and I and it didn't turn on today. This would be a slow just to read. Okay, teacher. Is correct the answer to sure or no? <laughs> <laughs> You will see when you get to the main session, when you go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay, but we can discuss and we can get a conclusion, right? Uh-huh. Okay, teacher. You think that it is when she, when he says, please describe the problem, okay? And also the, the phrase he chooses is, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I understand that there is a problem, right? So, yeah. You 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 get it correct. And what about you, Alma? What do you think? Uh, I think is the respuesta is he was very slow. This is the problem. Oh, we are in the second one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got mm -hmm. stacked on number one. Okay. Uh. No. Yeah, I was. Talking about number one. All right. Uh, what about the numbers? The number two is the number two is what, uh -huh. seem to what be seems the to be the problem with the computer. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. So what seems to be the problem? What? It doesn't say exactly what is the problem, but what's we what seems to be the problem? What seems, seems. Parecer. It didn't turn on today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What seems to be the problem? That the computer doesn't work. It didn't turn on today, so they have to replace it, right? Uh-huh. The computer didn't turn on today. But yesterday, it was very slow. It was very slow. What seems to be the problem? It was very slow. Didn't turn on today. Uh, I think it's, um, it's very slow yesterday. But I don't <laughs> in any didn't turn on on today, but it's but it's slowly and I uh, how how do you say descargado? Si a veces. Ah, okay, uncharged. Uncharged. Oh, discharged. Discharged. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let me say the share. I think the share. Uh huh. Uh huh. But what what exactly is to discharge or uncharge for you and your company? Uh, ch charge, with it. Mm -hmm. mm. Descargado, no battery. Uh, como... Low battery. Uh huh. Low battery. Ah, okay. Mm. You see, you think that's the problem with the computer? But if it is only low battery, they don't have to replace it, right? They have to, uh, she just have to, just has to charge it. <laughs> mm -hmm. No? No, to charge. Oh, wait, yes. For example, my computer is the battery low is 
the more slow and don't up don't load up the page for example or, or the different programs do not upload upload the upload uh -huh. but is is for example when it has low battery yes teacher uh, okay or, or um let me say but you don't need to replace the computer when you have that <laughs> problem and they are going to replace the computer with a problem okay uh -huh. mm. <clears throat> well that is the problem sour that is a problem that it is really slow <laughs> uh -huh. okay it was a very slow yesterday then mm -hmm. It sí, was. Si sí, uso el yesterday, estoy explicando que estuvo lenta ayer. Tengo mm -hmm. que decir que ahora no enciende. Y si no digo eso estuvo lenta y, y no enciende. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. Junto con el today. Y si no, no los uso ninguno de los dos. <laughs> no, actually. <Yeah>. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. You can say what happened before and what is going on now. Okay, because you are reporting the problem right now. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you report that yesterday? Because it, it was on. You were working. Even if it, if it was slow, mm, it was not exactly a, a problem. You continue with your job, right? Mm -hmm. But if you can't turn your computer on, that's a problem. Okay, that's a problem. Because it is not even slow, right? Mm -hmm. It's not working. It stops your work. Hmm? Yes, okay, sure. guys, I think you may continue with the other conversation. Okay, okay. sure. Okay, okay, the conversation. Porque lo de arriba no me no lo veo. Lo de arriba es, no, lo de arriba sí no lo veo. Si, si no compa comparto yo. Bueno. No lo puede. Ahorita comparto yo lo del libro. Bueno, la imagen que tenía. Usted, Max y yo, yo. Bye. No, con eso no es No. La, bueno. Me aprovechamos ahorita que está la de la teacher. Vaya. Bueno, entonces. Hello, this is Max for Tech Support. How, I, how can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Tipcom. We receive the new printer and the new healthy setting is. Uh, could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on my second, please? Um, it's a ulti page. Um, meet. And it's thirty. Thirty. Creo. Mhm. Mm creo, 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 creo que sí sería thirty. Thirty. Okay. Ok. First, make sure that power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Can you tell me what did you 
need to do next, please. Second, check that installation CD is 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 in the tray and tier ones the menu appears on the screen. Click on complement install. Uh, Pull plot plot. Teacher, the pronunciation will be based in M S T or oh, sorry study. Correct, because this is a model. For example, the model could be a, according to themselves. For example, if you see the car models, Nissan Sentra, right? Sentra is the model. We don't know how to pronounce it. We could say Sintra, we could say Sintra, right? It doesn't matter exactly, but we need to know what the, the maker uh, or the producer says the name. So for example, here the model will be ulti-page like that. Ulti-page, remember it is a, a printer. So page is a page, right? Oh, paper. So ulti-page, you can say max 30 or you can say MX 30. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. ¿Lo volvemos a repasar? Uh -huh. ¿O contestamos las, las preguntas? Oh, creo que practiquemos una más. Va. Sí. Eh, voy, la... a hacer, voy a hacer más. No. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Marta Alicia. What's going on? Está ocupado, Ronaldo. Eh, ya practicamos, teacher. Ah, okay, but continue, please, as much as you can. All right. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Mm. Make that the power cord is straight in. All right. See. Cause it's only while I need to do that. See? Click on get that installation to do. To do. This is the case. And here while the new operation is Hello, Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Hi, I'm here. 
Okay, Carlos Ernesto, I think you were alone, right? In your in your uh, <laughs> breakout, right? Your breakout room. Okay, Fernando Noel and Carlos Ernesto, please. Role play the conversation, the first one. Empiezo yo. Yes, please. Okay. Permítame, voy a voy a abrir el de WhatsApp. Here it is. Ah, okay. Thank you, thank you, Carl. Calling the IT department, IT department. Okay, Carlos Ernesto, let's do it together. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you for calling the IT department. Department. Mean? Department. Department. Uh -huh. department. Yes. Go ahead, Fernando. Hello. My name is Maria Ochoa, and I and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Okay, I'm sorry to hear to hear yeah. that. Please describe. Please describe the problem. I'm okay. sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Okay. It was very slow yesterday, and I didn't turn on today. It didn't. It didn't. And it didn't turn on today. Let me send a teacher. How do you pronounce it? Después de send. Someone. 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 Mm -hmm. Let me send someone with a complete form. We can we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. So now guys, number one, number one. What did you write in number one? What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? Mm -hmm. In a new computer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alma? Uh, we can send a new computer. Okay, Samuel, what do you think? You're muted. Excuse me. Uh, it's first uh, pregnant. Uh, yes, first number question. one. Yes. Okay. Um, my. Um, I'm going to see how the answer is. Well, my answer was let me send someone with a complaint form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Fernando Noel? Uh, the number one teacher. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sería, eh, para mí sería, please describe the problem. Please describe the problem. All right. What do you think, Stephanie? Sure, the expression is can it's specific, but, but 
is correctly is the, your expression can okay can the... send a new computer uh-huh uh-huh they are giving the solution right they are giving the solution even though it is not completed the process to request or to file a complaint because if you don't have the complaint filled out then you can't send a, a computer but he's showing the willingness right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay it sounds good it sounds good too what about number two what seems to be the problem with the computer deborah Sorry, teacher. Number two. Um, it was very slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what seems to be the problem now or today? Yesterday, teacher. Uh -huh. Yesterday was slow, but today? Uh, on. exactly it didn't turn on right it didn't turn on today so maybe if it is slow and it was low yesterday and it is it continues low today but it turns on maybe you will continue with your job even if it is low maybe you will report hey look the internet is slow or my computer is going slow but the problem that she's reporting is that she's not able to continue with his, with her job, she says. And it didn't turn on today, right? It didn't turn on today. Why? Because it was very slow yesterday. I don't know if that has anything to do with the problem that I have now, but it was slow yesterday. Okay? So, yes, both. It was slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. That seems to be the problem, right? What do you think, eh, Fernando? Mr. Fernando Enrique. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, I feel the same I need computer. Okay, mm, but we are talking about what is the problem with the computer. Number two. Number two, the computer is very slow and it didn't turn on today. Turn on, turn on. Turn on. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I think we agree, right? Do you agree? Class, do you agree? Yeah, yes. yes All right. So, yes, yes, there was solution in progress, and the problem was that one. So, with printers, for example, the problems or the possible problems are it doesn't turn on. What about another problem with a printer? What other problem can happen with a printer? Um, teacher, I <laughs> my microphone is turned off. Yeah, How okay. do you say teacher tinta? For example, for example, he has not uh, tinta, tinta, mm -hmm. para para poder hacer impresión. Okay, ran out um, of ink. Mm -hmm. Sin tinta. Se acabó la tinta. How, how do you pronounce this? Ran out of ink. Ran out of ink. 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 Ran out of ink. Yeah, ran out of ink. Okay. What other Except, problem can you... También sería ran out of paper. Oh, that's another one. Uh-huh. Uh, you can say um, need load paper okay run out of paper or you need to load paper need you it needs to 
Okay. It, it needs to load paper. Load paper. Cargar papel. Yeah. Teacher, always of paper, for example, paper jam, jam, como atascado. Aha, uh -huh, that's paper stack. Paper, paper stack. stack. Paper mm -hmm. stack. Paper, oh gosh, what did I do? Okay, paper stack. This control, teacher. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Power on the printer. Okay, good. Uh huh. Okay. Etc. All right. Now, what other equipment in your company can give you a problem? For example, the one in the discussion? Mm -hmm. The computer? Mm -hmm. Or terminal? Mm -hmm. Okay, work terminal computer. So now let's think about the problems you can have with a computer. Internet running really slow. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Teacher, the problem with the keyboard. Keyboard, key, keyboard. Uh -huh. What happened with a keyboard, for example? Uh, does not, um, does not re recognize, for example, the difference. Keyboard. Or keyboard not recognized, non recognized. Recognize. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What other problem can we have with our computer? And when the la, uh, image, uh, when the image se queda congelada. Okay, frozen screen. Frozen screen. Okay, frozen screen. Teacher, problem mm -hmm. con low problem hard drive. Yes. Uh huh. Hard drive. Uh, what problems can you have with the hard drive? Uh, maybe that mm, you don't have the files. The files I, don't uh, open. The drivers. Sector. 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 Sec ah, okay. Damaged. Sector. Damaged sectors. No, I, I don't remember the technical. The technical a term but maybe this is uh hard when disk. you when you i'm sorry hard disk the, yeah the, in the, the hard drive, uh -huh, mm -hmm. drive in the hard drive yeah but you have to defragment right defragment is that what you do when you have damaged sectors so like uh not 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 sectors fragments okay fragment <laughs> yeah and crawling motherboard. Fight. Oh, yes, with the motherboard. Uh huh. Yeah, but with the motherboard, is for example, ah, also with the. Okay, the motherboard. Uh huh. Motherboard. motherboard the computer. Uh huh. But in this case, the motherboard is broken or. Uh, like this, it's broken. Mm. Yeah, it's broken. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. Broken is not only to break. Broken is that something doesn't uh, work, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ruined. Yeah, ruined. But we don't use ruined. We use broken instead, instead of that. Okay, people, it's time. Time's up. So tomorrow we are going to have a reading, the reading exercise, exercise that we didn't do today. 
So uh, please, everybody, remember to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, say present. Alma Yamilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present, teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present, teacher. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present, teacher. Ok, Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Present, teacher. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present, teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present, teacher. Siempre me veo tentada que cuando leo Fernando Noel, siempre digo Noel, Noel. Se, se, se me traba y por eso cuando voy ya por síntigo me, me trabo. No sé por qué será, la verdad. Ajá. Siempre es con el suyo, ¿verdad, compañerito? Que me quedo un poquito pensando. Ok. Gabriela Alicia Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Ok. Helen Saraí Hernández Larín. Miss Helen, are you there? Oh, she said she had something on, right? Ok, José Antonio Campos Rivas. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Ri Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Ok. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Ok. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Present. Ok. Your name will sound like Samuel Edward or Araniva, or Araniva Galvez, right? Araniva. Yeah, something like that. Uh huh. That's nice. Your, your, your surname is uh, very elegant, Araniva. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present, teacher. Ok. Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. Miss Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Veronica. So, people, is there any questions so far that I can assist you with? No? No questions? Okay, bye. Okay. Mañana nos toca la eh, encuesta de satisfacción. Todos están invitados y obligados, eh, invitados a venir el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos que hacer la encuesta de satisfacción. Acuérdense que ese es un requisito de Insaport y de lo que se trata es de que usted confirme que lo que se le ofreció, eso es lo que le hemos dado, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, que usted confirme con su encuesta. Y la otra cosa es que el día de mañana... Debe estar subido también el examen final. Si alguien tiene alguna duda, pregunta, consulta, comentario, lo que quiera decirme, por favor, no dude en ponerme un mensaje. Me lo puede poner directo o lo puede poner en el WhatsApp, no hay ningún problema. Pero lo importante es que usted haga su recuento en la plataforma de que todo está finalizado y que tienen 100% ganado, ¿ok? Eh, con respecto de la asistencia, usted ya sabe, ¿verdad? Que le va a bajar cuando usted se ha conectado tarde, cuando se ha conecta desconectado por A o por B motivo antes o porque no pudo asistir en un día, ¿verdad? Y le va a bajar su porcentaje. Entonces, eh, si alguien tiene, vuelvo y repito, preguntas de las tareas, por favor, díganme, no se queden con las dudas. Eh, hasta este momento, ¿hay algo que quisieran agregar? ¿Pregunta? Teacher, I have a question. With the activity is tomorrow, it will be at the beginning of the class, the filing of the form, or... Usually it's around 8, 20, 30. Okay, okay, teacher, but I have a problem is in tomorrow at I get out my work in the 8 p.m. and can I drive into my house with you connected and listening? Okay, the problem the problem we have the problem we have is that they assign the time. 
So it's not me, the one that program the, the, mm -hmm. or schedule the, the activity. In this case, I received the order because we need the supervision and the auditory from the IT department and also from in support. So they can connect at the time that it is programmed and it's like a lottery, right? You are sorted in the whole groups. So we need to be on time. So if you are not able to do it, I mean, if you sure. are not able to make it at the, the very same time, still connect, okay? Yes, still sure. connect. I, I estimate 15 minutes and arrive at my house. What is that? Eight, 10 minutes, PM. Mm -hmm. Okay, but please still connect. And remember that uh, you will be the only one that it is presenting this at the end of everybody, okay? Mm -hmm. But you have to, you have to do it, all right? Just to sure. Okay, okay. Any other question? No questions? Are we okay? Me voy a tener que tomar yo solita el atolito. No, hombre. Yo ya había chuco. Can you? Can. All right, go yeah, ahead, sure. Saul. Everybody have a very good night. See you tomorrow. All right. See yeah. you. Good night, See teacher. You, you take a good Bye, rest. Teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Have a very good night. You too. Bye. Okay, Saul, tell me, how can I assist you today? Yes, teacher. I. Is I have a, a confused the use for example cold good 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 good, mm -hmm. good. is for example could you please buy some meal for example that you mm -hmm. yesterday in the, the grandma worksheet mm -hmm. but I what is the difference the change for example is the, the it is the question mm -hmm. what is the answer the use Cold, cold, cold. Uh, you don't have to answer with yes, I yes, I could. No, you can't. Mm -hmm, actually, you no. have to react saying, sure, no problem. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll do mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Or right away. Yeah. So you have to give just a reaction. And a reaction is usually a by this kind of expressions. Uh you can also, for example, just just say it's okay. That's it, mm -hmm. right? It's okay. Uh, my pleasure, right? Or I don't know, please to do it. Whatever you want to say. It's not necessary, just one answer, right? Usually we say, sure. That's the most mm -hmm. common. And the other is, That's sure, it. no problem. Yeah, well, sure, no problem. Mm -hmm. But never say, oh, yes, I could. Because if you say that, it sounds rude. It sounds, oh, yes, I could, but I'm not going to do it, right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like sarcasm. And not always, but maybe you didn't know that was not the way to answer and you did it. Uh, but it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. The the other question is, for example, the different pronunciation the can and can. <laughs> ah, okay. Is, but in this, in, in, yeah, the, the negative. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, the negative, you have just to stop the T, okay, and open just a little bit and do it kind of uh, longer. For example, you say can. Can right, like a K and an N together. Can, or uh, you can say, for example, I can do it. Right, if you use the complete word to pronounce. But if you just say, I can, I can I do it. Can. I can do it. I can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay. that's uh, usually when you are able to do something, when you have the ability of doing something. Mm -hmm. Uh, usually when you are requesting for something in the way that we are learning at the moment, uh, you will see that these are informal requests, but they are very polite. But usually you don't say, I can do something. I just say, um, if I say, for example, I can send the emails, I'm offering. I'm offering. So I can send the emails. Yeah. Or 
I could, right? When I'm offering, I could talk to them, right? I could talk to them. So don't worry, I'll do it. But um, the pronunciation or the negative form in this case is, is that you are not offering, yeah? yeah. Or that you are not requesting. Usually when you make an offering or a request using can, usually you, you don't use can't because can't is more for that, uh, mm -hmm. for uh, just confirming that the person is not able to do something. And for example, I have an example over here. It's We're going to read it tomorrow too. And with the reactions, we didn't see the reactions today because of the time, but look. Okay, I had these examples prepared for it today, but we were not able to do it because of the time. But look, it says, mm, can you come to repair the printer in the afternoon? And then mm -hmm. the reactions, sure, no problem. Okay, mm -hmm. sure, right away. These are the most common, mm -hmm. these are the most common. You can use any, you can use any as you wish, but these are the most common. So for example, look at the negative. I mm -hmm. place the negative over here just to show that when you say, for example, can she forward the emails to all the employees? You are not asking, okay? You are not asking her to do it. You are talking to a different person, confirming if she is able to do it or if mm -hmm. it is part of their uh, of her activities to do it, right? Or she, if she is able to do it, all right? Mm -hmm. So like looking at the possibility, that her to forward the emails to all the employees. But you can use negatives. It's not that you cannot use them, but usually we just in requests and offerings, the affirmative. Mm -hmm. okay, we, we for for, really for example, with understanding the, mm -hmm. the, use, the use with can, if, if for example, can T-shirt Carmen speak in French, for example? For example. Mm -hmm. That's a ability, okay? Uh -huh. That's ability, but it can be a request. It can be a request. For example, can you speak French, please? Oh, the yeah. police is giving us the clue okay. that this is a request, <laughs> okay? But if I ask you, can you speak French? Mm, I'm asking you for the ability because I don't have any any police over there, right? Uh, okay. Or for example, I can ask you, um, can you speak French tonight? Right? Can you speak mm -hmm. French tonight in your speech? Ah, okay, then I am asking you to do something. But mm -hmm. if I tell you, can you speak French? Just mm -hmm. the ability. All right? Just the ability. So it's in the context mm -hmm. when you are going to understand if they are referring to uh, a request or or if it is ability. But in look, uh, the, um, ah, in that case, if you say, can you, can you speak French? Then the answer is yes, I can. Yes, it's not can. sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's yes, I can because I can do it. So I can confirm that the ability that, that I have the ability to do it. <laughs> All right. So that's the difference. And the pronunciation. Allow me just to go to finish about the pronoun. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. I'm kind of pronunciation okay there you go pronunciation uh-huh so if we if we um want to say something with the affirmative usually it's like this kin right kin mm -hmm. kin yeah kin, kin. uh-huh with a schwa kin. with a schwa sound all right but if you want to say for example in the negative you are going to say uh like can't um uh, just okay like this can 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 uh-huh but look at the pronunciation can 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 all right can so, can uh huh, but in the British in the British it's easier, uh, in the in, uh British English because you have can like that can, and you have can't, okay, 
can't mm -hmm. can't and can but yeah. in american you don't have any difference <laughs> and it's kind of difficult to understand and you have to go over the context to understand okay. if they are talking in the negative or in the affirmative and usually when you listen to that they are not making it di any difference but when you speak you can make the difference and it is not a problem that is not a problem for example i can say can't and everybody's going to understand you are not wrong you are not wrong uh but socially maybe you are not doing as everybody right but you're not going to sound you you will sound differently Yes. Okay, you will sound differently. So that's what you have to um, decide. Do I want to sound differently or do I want to camouflage or mixed, <laughs> right? All right, get mixed. So you, you decide, you decide. Do you want to pronounce that because you are allowed because you're, uh, it's not your language. So you can uh, pronounce that your best, doing your best. If you feel that you can make the difference saying can't, okay, and you need it, okay, do it. But my tip or my suggestion is that you try to pronounce correctly as they do, yeah, to mm, to yeah. camouflage, to mix, <laughs> uh -huh, to fit, to fit, uh -huh, to fit with people. So you can say can, can't, right? Can, can. Uh -huh. For example, I could say, uh, I can use computers, right? I can use computer. I can, I, I can, I can, you see? I can, I can use I computers. Can use computer. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I can, can use computer. computers. Uh -huh. What if I can't? Ah, you see, can't. Mm -hmm. I can use computers. I can't use computer. So the pronunciation mm -hmm, and the stress, exactly. Mm -hmm. I can and I can't use computer. Mm -hmm. Computers. The right computer. <laughs> I can use computers. You see the pronunciation of the whole the whole expression. I can use computers, but I if use... I say the negative, I can't use computers. You see? I can use. <laughs> see. So it's kind of different. The, the pronunciation difference. of the, the intonation, the difference. Teacher. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. I can but this computer and I can't use computer. <laughs> correct. Yes, because teacher. I'm not saying the T, but if I say the T. It will be easier. I can use computers. I can't use computers. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Thanks, teacher. Thanks. All right. No problem. I will send a, a video for you. Okay. It's a phonics video. So you will try to match imitate okay try to imitate with the vid with the video i will send all right Saul. mr Saul. <laughs> i can't see you mr Saul, are you there Saul. Uh, I think have a problem in internet. Oh, sure. okay, yeah, there you are. You, uh -huh, your screen got frozen. Uh, okay. All I right. listen. I listen. I listen, you... in, but you you don't listen to me. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. Yes, sure? And so, are you there? <laughs> yeah, something. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, I will send you the video. I, yes, I was sure. saying that you have to imitate. All right. Please imitate. Okay, then, okay, uh, is there okay, any teacher, other question or are we okay? No, teacher, solamente mañana que tengo ese inconveniente que sé que saldré tarde, pero trataré de estar lo más rápido posible en casa para, para hacer yeah. toda la encuesta. Ya me okay. la enviaron, ahí, ahí lo tengo. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. The okay, check that okay, you teacher. have all the you have all the elements you need. For example, the uh, razón social, okay and everything you need all right yes, Check teacher. That. yes teacher tomorrow i give get how do you say um voy a obtenerlos o voy a buscarlos i will get obtenerlos. them get i them. will get them uh-huh get them get them okay teacher i will get them <laughs> all right okay, teacher. nice thanks teacher see you tomorrow, tomorrow. bye Saul. bye